afternoon everybody i was gonna say good morning and it's so not good morning although i look crazy um one second oh, today has been a day of days i pretty much woke up super early and i had a meeting at the bank i didn't even have time to like get ready today and then i pretty much have been doing schoolwork all day long i have an assignment due tonight actually um, and have so I've been doing some readings for that assignment and oh, I just feel like a hot mess But I'm now going to start getting ready for an event that I have later tonight But I want to do like my hair makeup get like pretty much entirely ready Just on my outfit and then sit down and finish off my assignment. This assignment is actually for one of my art history classes and I've been doing a couple of readings. One of them is on the subject of Team Toretto's Brera Scuola Grande di San Marco. So there's that. And then I have another one on materiality, textiles, and composition in Renaissance painting. And then the last one that I was working on Bellini and some of his um, Renaissance works. So it's a lot of reading um because i have to write a paper on those um but now i am going to start getting ready i have a hair mask in my hair right now actually i put it in my hair was it last night i think and i'll show you what i put in my hair but um it's now time to wash it off <laughs> to my hair um and look a little bit more human i do have my uterus sweater on though my little this is a, a christmas gift if you didn't watch that video but yeah Oh my god, I swear, being a student is a million times harder than working a full-time job. I feel like I've heard so many adults being like, oh, working a full-time job is harder. And I don't know, I think I disagree. I think full-time jobs are like obviously harder from 9 to 5 and there's a lot more... Um, like pressure and you know you have to meet deadlines and all of this stuff but man the school is like 24 7 and now with schools being online like things are due like at midnight like poor jack has assignments due at like 2 a.m and all of this stuff so i just feel like with i feel like professors have really like taken online to like the next level definitely gotten way more intense since like i've been in school i've just i've definitely felt that like shift it used to be a very like you know respectable amount of schoolwork and readings and now it's just like you know 200 pages a week per class and i'm only taking like two to three courses i can't even imagine the students that are being assigned 200 pages a week per class with five classes that's a lot of reading like that's just crazy <laughs> on top of like doing all the work that is you know that coincides with those readings anyways i am going to hop in the shower figure out this mess and hopefully next time you see me i'll be looking a little more i don't know not crazy i want to quickly show you the hair masks that i have in my hair right now i've got two in um, the first one is my Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. This is like, I don't even know what tub this is. I've had multiple of these. I like to use this at night. I used to wash my hair every night and let it dry naturally. I have now since switched up my routine. And what I do is I will shower at night, get my hair wet in the shower. And then once I get out, I will put a hair mask in, put it in a bun like so and leave it in um, and then the next morning I will give my hair a proper wash and then blow dry it and whatever recently I have been using I'm actually almost out oh my god but I have been using this drunk elephant silk amino mega moisturizing mask looks like this and it's actually really really good um, I feel like it really does give my hair a bit more of a shine than this but I mean I've been using them together but I know what this one does to my hair and I can definitely say that adding this one definitely gave my hair that like post hair salon shine that is really really hard to achieve at home but i will say i'm not sure if this was good enough to like rebuy um this was sent to me but i don't i don't know if i would rebuy this i don't think so whereas this one i would so that's kind of my little update but i have been using this and i'm going to use it all um yeah we'll see it does smell really really good though it smells kind of like vanilla -y. anyways i'm gonna stop chatting after i hop in the shower and start getting ready because I do have to finish that assignment before we go. I have an event with Margiela tonight and it's like a wine 
a wine tasting or something like that which is not conducive to like coming back home after a couple glasses of wine and doing schoolwork so we will see but i also like how do you pass up a glass of wine come on you just can't <laughs> hello everyone and hopefully i'm looking a bit more fresh faced than i did before but i've sat down to do my hair with you because i have a new addition to show you and i know we all know what the little blue box means or i guess they come in different color boxes but anyways yes i did get the dyson air wrap and for the longest while i thought i wasn't going to but it happened <laughs> um so i got the new dyson air wrap with the extra long attachments now my hair isn't long at the moment isn't super long but um it usually is it does grow out quite long so i decided to go ahead and get the long i figured i'd rather have that capability than not and i pretty much got the same color as my hair dryer i just i wanted a matching set this was the color that i loved i think it's in my opinion the prettiest color that they do i know they have like the pink and the blue and i mean all colors all the colors are pretty but the silver and like copper color is my favorite hence why i got the dryer in that color and so i just went ahead and got the matching color for the air wrap um but one of the reasons why i decided to get the air wrap was i was blow drying my hair in a very particular way which i feel like i have yet to show you guys that but i did post a video of it or rather a tutorial on my instagram so i will leave my instagram up on the screen so do follow me there if you want to check out the tutorial it's also on tiktok if you follow me on there um but i was styling my hair like that every single day and i will admit that doing a blowout with a hair dryer and a round brush takes a hot minute and i was so used to just having my everyday curls which i feel like i got a little bit tired of to be honest the everyday curls was super easy i would use my curling iron sorry my flat iron and it would just last me the whole week all i would do is really touch up the front of my hair and on I went about my day but the blowout was a little bit different it took a little bit more time in the morning and I was starting to get frustrated when my everyday hair routine went from like three minutes to 20 minutes and um, that really changed my day especially on days that I was in a rush and I had seen that you could do really awesome blowouts with the air wrap and so I thought you know what let me let me just bite the bullet and i did so what i'm gonna do today is i'm actually gonna blow out my hair from wet hair to you know dry hair and see how it works on my rather curly hair as you can see well it's not super curly but it is quite wavy um and i feel like most people that i see using the air wrap have like not a lot of hair or straight hair you know not frizzy like like a good latina my hair is very very frizzy and i will say i have used this twice now and I have some comments but we'll talk about that later so let's do our hair together I'm gonna start off with my Jisoo heat protectant today um, I love this one it smells awesome and this is now like the second or third bottle that I've been using they actually sent this to me in PR a while while ago and I loved it so much that I've just stuck using it and have just kept repurchasing it so this air wrap does come with quite a few attachments so first of all you've got the fly away um attachment which is one of the best attachments i actually prefer the one on the hair dryer better i feel like it works a bit better than this one um but i mean amazing that it comes with the air wrap because i need it um so it also comes with two brush attachments i've honestly at this point i've yet to figure out what the major difference is between these two so i'm going to use those and then of course you have your two barrels so this one's a little bit bigger this one's a bit narrower and because this is the newer air wrap set you do have the um attachments that you can change just up at the top so just by switching the little arrow it changes the direction of the air so i am going to use today um, i'm going to use this one and i'm going to start with one of these attachments I also have this one here. This is one of my favorites. For my curly, frizzy hair, I find that this is the best for so far. At least I found that that one's the best for any flyaways. So let's do it. <laughs> and then quickly before I start blow drying, I'm going to use my JVN Blowout Styling Milk. Absolutely love this product. I just feel like it gives a really silky 
finish to your hair at the very, very end. It is wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's get blow drying. I'm going to start sectioning my hair off and I'm gonna start with this attachment here and see how that goes. But because of my curly hair, I might have to switch to this one. We'll see, so let's start it out. Not bad, we're quite smooth. Let's try this side now. Pretty good. Oh my God, I need to get my hair retoned. <laughs> okay, pretty good so far. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I will come back to you at the end to do the blowout style. Hair is blow dried. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section off my hair and I'm gonna switch from this attachment to this attachment. So what I've done is I've blow dried most of my hair. Now unfortunately because my hair is curly, um, I still have to use my flat iron and that is I think if you don't have straight hair with the air wrap, it's gonna be very, very hard to just use the air wrap. For me, I don't think I could escape having to use my flat iron. I get so many little Latinas, as my um, hairdresser calls them, little curlies around my face and a lot of you know, um, frizz around the back, so I, I, I'm not gonna be able to avoid it. But anyways, I'm rambling here. What I'm gonna do is I've sectioned my hair off and I'm gonna put this inwards. Um, so I'm gonna section it off. These sections don't have to be overly, overly small. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna let the air wrap just on the bottom. So let me show you. That leaves you with the most perfect blowout curl. So that is essentially what I'm gonna do for the rest of my hair, moving through each section. So I'm gonna do it again. All right, so just to show you what that looks like on the bottom section of my hair, you got nice little like curls inwards. Looks like you just got a blowout. So now I'm just gonna do it for the rest of my hair. a bit crazy but I promise it's just trust the process so the front is gonna be the most important bit um, because I have lots of little flyaways and lots of curlies so what I'm gonna do so I'm actually gonna switch back to the like round brush attachment and I'm gonna grab the two front pieces and this is gonna be pretty much the same thing that I would do if I was using like the hair dryer and the round brush, I'm just gonna brush upwards and kind of inwards. Okay, now that that's smoothed out a little bit, I'm gonna switch back to this guy. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did for my entire hair. I'm going to just air wrap the bottom like quarter of my hair. guy seems to be going outwards. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Everything is going inwards now. Some of these curlies and that. Now, this is a very realistic finished blowout, but as you can see, there's still a lot of frizz happening, especially back here. So I have two options. I'm gonna use the um, flyaway attachment first, show you guys what that looks like, and then I'm gonna bring in the big guns. My handy dandy GHD flat iron. So I'm gonna turn it on because I have a feeling I'm gonna need her. And then let's grab the flyaway attachment. All right, this is it. These do get very hot as well. All right, that is on. can already see that difference in just the smoothness of the hair versus this side. Look at all those little flyaways. All right, so let's do the same thing to the other side. Much, much, much better. You know what? It's actually not looking 
too too bad I don't think I need too much more help from my flat iron but I am still gonna touch up some of these little areas and there we go a perfect blowout with the Dyson Airwrap this is the hairstyle that I have been loving lately it's like sleek but still voluminous I just absolutely love it um, it's been my go-to style and it was taking me so long to do with my hair dryer which I love I love my Dyson hair dryer and I will say that if you have like curly hair having a good good um, hair dryer makes a huge huge difference um, it's just my opinion so yeah I've been really really enjoying the air wrap i think next time around i will try and do some curls with you but honestly i just have been not loving curls on my hair i've just been really really enjoying a nice smooth blowout i love it i really really love it i feel like my hair has never looked this healthy oh god i remember back when i had my balayage it looked gorgeous but my hair was never shiny it was just dull like always always dull and this shine is what I want in life now <laughs> anyways I'm going to just super quickly do my makeup um, and then jump straight back into schoolwork because I feel like I have taken long enough at doing my hair so that's what I'm gonna do hello everyone I'm just in the midst of getting ready and I am so excited because my new banana republic order arrived and I have to show you so I'm actually gonna wear it today, but this is a gorgeous like cashmere um, I don't even know what you would call it um, Just sweater, but it is the most beautiful silhouette I'm not gonna do it justice on a hanger So I'm gonna put it on and show it to you guys because it is just the dream. <laughs> How beautiful is this sweater? I'm gonna add my Burberry brown belt because I think That I'm gonna wear my brown heels I'm gonna add my Ralph Lauren brown heels. These are so comfy. These are one of the only heels that like truly, truly compete with Manolo Blahnik in comfort. <laughs> this is the Banana Republic sweater. Like how beautiful and classic is that? And then of course, these are my anthropology pants. Excuse the hot mess over here. And then I got a little bit, some pops of brown in there now bag wise. Oh, I really need like a classic brown bag. So I think I might do my um, Dior saddle in the white. I'm just finishing up um, adding some final touches to my outfit. I added my Nord Green brown watch, which is one of my favorite watches. I wear it all the time. And I'm looking for my little, oh, here they are. Um, these are my little Missouri like pearl gold hoops. I love these and I'm actually gonna take off my idol earrings Which is like the only earrings I've been wearing recently. These are my little idol diamond earrings I feel like they're so dainty and ladylike, but I'm going to switch into these Missouri ones um, Which if you're wanting to pick them up um, You'll get 10% off by shopping through my link down below, but these are my oh Yeah I love them, so classy, but a little bit, you know, edgy with the the gold hoop in there. And then for rings, I am going to do my Charlotte soft ring with my diamond band. Cause that just is my go-to. I don't ever not wear that. And then I'm gonna go really dainty. I'm gonna go with my Charlotte soft band. And this tiny little one that I got during Christmas, which has just got like four little diamonds in there just to keep it really, really dainty. So that's it for jewelry, for fragrance today. I used my Hermes Cedra Sambac, and I'm just going to add a little bit more. I get yelled at every single time for spraying stuff on my jewelry, but I don't take it off, so I don't really have an option. I'm going to add a little bit more blush. This is my Dior blush, which is my favorite. And I need to hunt down my lip glosses. I've lost all my Ilia lip glosses. Not sure where they've gone, but we're running late. So, okay, I think I'm ready to go. I will add some lip gloss in the Uber and ready to go. I am all ready to go. My hair is looking pretty good. I'm really happy with this Dyson Air Wrap situation. Um, I also just, I like using it as a blowout style better. All right, let's go. We're just leaving the house. I'm with mom tonight. 
was the the coldly coldly mixer. Someone's getting on the elevator. funky skin contact wines that you're not going to normally have when you're out for dinner. The first one we have tonight is called Piac. It is from a winemaking couple called Sir Base and Bobinette. They fell in love on a French vineyard. They bought a small little property outside of central France to grow this wine. It's all biodynamic. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna get a lot of hints of watermelon, cherry. It's like cannonballing naked into a country pond. <laughs> Enjoy. home with some really really cute little gift bags and I've actually already opened it up but we of course got to um, take home with us the on a date fragrance which is so kind because I actually really ended up liking the fragrance and this happens to me every single time with replica fragrances I really dislike them out of the bottle I will spray them in the room I don't like them this happened to me with um, when the rain stops, I remember distinctively opening up the PR package in my living room, spraying it in the living room and being like, oh, not my type of fragrance. I did the same thing with this one. I think if you watched my vlog after the last event for Margiela that I went to, I was like, oh, it's a little bit sweet. It's not for me, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I sprayed it on my skin this time around and it just is so lovely on the skin. It's not as sweet when you put it on. And again, it's gonna develop differently on everybody. I'm super excited, super excited for Jack to try this on because I feel like it's gonna smell completely different on him and I'm sure he's dying to try it. But yeah, mom and I got our own little fragrances. So this will be the perfect spring, summer fragrance on a date, not on a date, regardless, it's gonna be. I was just about to put everything away when I realized in the gift bag, there's a little Polaroid of me. Look at that. How cute is that? I love it. I feel like I look better in that photo than I do now. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to hop in the shower, take all this makeup off and get into, into bed because I'm quite tired and I had quite a few glasses of wine, which were very good. Actually, there was a Somalia there tonight. I don't know, I never got his name, but he recommended two places in Toronto that um, sold, well, there were um, wine bars. One of them was Grape Witches, which Jack and I have been to, and I will admit, we didn't have the best experience at Grape Witches, but he did recommend another one, which was Paradise Grape Vine. And I think it's on Bloor Street, Bloor Street East, I think. And I quickly like texted it to Jack while I was at the event and he ended up messaging me saying that it looked awesome. <laughs> That's the only detail I got from him. It looked awesome, so I'm trusting that it's awesome. So I think that's gonna be um, a spot that we're gonna go to hopefully soon. I'd love to check out this place. We don't typically love organic wines and this wine bar I think is mainly organic wines, but we'll see, we'll see. 